Good morning, Aries. Happy fire sign day. I know we are one day behind of schedule. I'm one day off this week. Happy Thanksgiving to all who are celebrating here in uh, the United States. Hope you guys are having a great holiday, uh, long weekend coming up, and we'll get into these messages. We have a Six of Swords reverse for the main deck, Ten of, Ten of Pentacles for the clarifying deck. Who is stuck, energetically stuck? Are you stuck trying to get your Ten of Pentacles? Is somebody trying to stuck getting you? Actually, the first thing I was, um, my intu intuition was the first thing was, I feel like maybe you put somebody out in the cold. That, that was the first thought. Um, that really was why you might be focused on your Ten of Pentacles, focused on the bills, focused on the goals, focused on how to get more money at this time. I feel like somebody is trying to get back into your good graces. What's the Six of Swords reverse? Yeah, Knight of Swords. I feel like messaging, something coming in pretty quick. Ten of Wands reverse, Ten of Cups. There's two tens, ending of a cycle. And so Eight of Cups reverse. Five of Wands, maybe you just got tired of the manipulation. It, actually, you know what I got with that Five of Wands is I feel like somebody's manipulating them and that's what you got tired of. Is it their ex? Is it their mom? Whatever it was, you just got tired of it. What's below the Ten of Pentacles? Justice Reverse and the Five of Cups. Maybe you're tired. Yeah. Justice Reverse is maybe waiting for an ending to happen in a Five of Cups. And somebody needed to cut somebody else out is what I feel. It had to be like, a, it, it was some type of third party. If it's their their mom, their relative, or their ex. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are an Aries, know an Aries, feel like being an Aries, Aries, I'm glad you're here. You can be an Aries and this resonates. You could be dealing with an Aries and this resonates the main story. Aries could be a cross watcher. This reading could be for an Aries. This, air, this reading could be about an Aries. Wow. Okay. All right, general energy for our Aries. Yeah, and look at that. Six of Cups reversed in the four. Somebody's really stressed. I think somebody's really stressed that they're not talking to you, or you're not talking to them, I should say. General energy for the Aries. Collect the messages. Collect the messages for the Aries. Collect the messages. Collect the messages. Temperance reverse was there. Eight of Cups reverse. Collect the messages for the Aries. You got somebody in their feelings, Aries. I feel like this has been in your reading for a while though. Collect the messages for the Aries. Collect the messages for the Aries. Collect the messages. Collect the messages. King of Pentacles. You know what the King has? A Ten of Pentacles. I feel like that's where your focus is. Trying to obtain that Ten. What's influencing the King of Pentacles? What's influencing the King of Pentacles? What's influencing it? You're trying to get that long-term stability. That's what you're going for. Thinking long-term. What's influencing it? The Seven of Wands, yeah. Seven of Wands. Leo energy. That's two kings right off the bat. Half of your energy is the emperor. What's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? What is the reason for the reading? Reading? Why are we all here today? What is it? The Ten of Wands. Putting, I feel hard work though. I feel like there's an Aries putting in the work, trying to put, put this away or trying to obtain it or trying to get that promotion, trying to get that raise. Seven of Wands, trying to get the accolades, trying to, you, you want to be rewarded for the work you do. And you, I don't feel like you, you, not that you haven't, but I, you want to hit that level and you haven't quite yet. What's in the past? But you will, because right there you got the king. What's in the past? What's in the past? For Aries, what's in the past? What's in the past? The, ooh, judgment. That's a good card to be in the past. That's a good place to start is renewal. The past is the is the rebirth card. It's it's I don't want the past. That's what the past is. It's the beginning. It's it's where it all began. What's on your mind? What is on Aries' mind? What is on Aries' mind? What is on Aries' mind? The Empress. Holy hell. Wow, you being the emperor, and there's your true pair is the empress on your mind. 
but the empress is the feminine magician see the emperor is more showy and really boisterous with their energy you know very masculine energy where the empress is i call it the feminine magician is because it pulls opportunities to them they pull um situations or people or <coughs> It's a high vibrational energy. It's it's a masterful energy of their energy. It's all four queens using working in unison to get the ten of pentacles. It's getting is this manipulative maybe, but it's getting people to do what you want. But they think they're doing what you want them to do. All right, what's in the near future? What's in the near future? What is it? Death card. Oh, man. Aries, I've never seen a reading like this. You have two deaths and rebirths weighing on the scales here. These scales are completely even in your, in your reading. There is no imbalance going on in your reading. You have majors here. The only thing you don't is here. And it's okay because you're working your ass off. You're not afraid of hard work because you're trying to... It's like a tree. You're growing multiple streams of income you're trying to grow long-term wealth long-term security you don't want to have to depend on anyone you don't want your kids to have to take care of you you don't want to have to, anyone to provide for your kids you, that's just what it is a king it's just whatever whatever you're providing for not too long ago you may have had to rely on someone and you don't like how that how that made you feel ten of pentacles and the justice reverse there was an imbalance and you may have gotten screwed over and you may have been out of a job. But whatever you're creating, it is long-term wealth. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. And I feel like it all came from sadness and pain. And there was an ending, a Ten of Swords and a Five of Cups. But that was the best ending you've ever gotten because it was a strong-ass beginning within yourself. Okay, King of Pentacles influenced by the Seven of Wands here. King of Pentacles influenced by the Seven of Wands. You, you just know you're going to make it. You just know it. That's the confidence, the Seven of Wands. And I, it is getting attention. And people will be vying for what you have. But the King of Pentacles, Pentacles is very secure and very steady on his feet. Because what he's growing is is a long time in the making and nobody's going to take it from you once once you hit that level what's that king of pentacles influenced by the seven of wands now the seven of wands can create jealous energies around it because that's if you you know there's if you remember the imagery of the seven of wands but um i don't think that really with the ten of wands here i don't think that really yeah, Queen of Swords. There's our first queen out. I don't think that scares you because your queen's here. You have some healthy boundaries. You can handle yourself just fine. Queen of Swords is out. Holy shit. What are you watching tarot for? You should... You, this is masterful. That's... A, I mean, Queen of Swords. You, this is a masterful reading. Queen of Swords. Why the Queen of Swords? Libra and energy. Why the Queen of Swords? For Aries. And the Five of Cups reverse. It's... It's like whoever had you on their knee, when, when you were hurt the last time was the last time you were ever going to be in that position. What, that's, what I, that's what I feel. The last time you were ever in that kind of desperation when somebody broke your heart or somebody you got thrown from a job or you really needed money and somebody turned their back, that is the moment you decided no more. That was the moment you decided something has to change and something really did change. And if this is your reading and you're still stuck with people in the coldness of people's shadows, let me tell you, shit is about to change. Nine of Pentacles, there's a lot of self reliance going on here. Okay, what is the Ten of Wands? Reason for the reading. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Shit is about to change. I wish I could make that the title, honestly, because that's that's pretty much what it is. The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune. Reason for the reading. 
big, big, big luck is changing, Aries. Big luck. King of Pentacles. My God, you got the money coming in. You have the money coming in. Three of Wands reverse. And you're not taking no for, the, no for an answer. I want to be an Aries right now. Holy cow. King of Pentacles. Top and bottom. What's the judgment in the past? What's the judgment in the past? What's the judgment in the past? Why is the judgment here? When you know, you know, and you can't. Yeah, Queen of Wands reverse. There was an Aries energy. There was a time when Aries didn't believe in themselves because people didn't believe in Aries. And Aries broke free with that Seven of Wands, broke free from the paradigm, broke free from low self-esteem, broke free from other people's opinions and broke free from a city, broke free, whatever it was. And that was the best thing you ever did was get released from somebody who didn't, feel like you were good enough that was the best thing honestly justice reverse three of swords reverse magician reverse because it highlighted by them thinking like you were good enough really highlighted your strengths and really turned you into the emperor look at that it's like it's it's it's, it's really like a superhero reading here what is the empress on aries mind the empress on aries mind the Empress on Aries mind. What is this? There's nothing you can't do, Aries. There's nothing you can't do. That's total expansion. Some of you might be giving birth too. That's the Empress is Mother Earth, very nurturing. And that's the thing is you are nurturing yourself. You are putting yourself for first. You are thinking of yourself and how how decisions are going to affect you. You're not throwing yourself under the bus anymore for other people. The Hermit. And before you make any decision, you have to go within, see how the hermit goes within. And it's a very introspective card. He holds a lantern, the lantern holds a star. And how does this affect my long-term um, happiness? Virgo energy. And Virgo energy is also the eight, nine, and 10 of pentacles. We've already seen the 10 of pentacles. We have two king of pentacles. This is a very pentacle kind of reading. Nine of pentacles at the bottom, Virgo energy. Seven of Pentacles there. Patience, my dear. And I feel like you do have the patience because what you're trying to obtain, not trying, but what you're on the road to obtaining is, is such long-term security that you're okay as long as, long as you know that you're going to reach it. It doesn't matter if it's going to be one, two, three, four, five years, 10 years, because you know you're going to reach it. You just know you're going to hit that. You're going to hit that mountaintop. What is the death in the near future? Scorpio energy. What is the death card? What is the death card in the near future for Aries? There it is. Ooh, two cards. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands reverse. It is the Eight of Cups reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. It's kind of funny because these two cards right here are very similar to these two cards that flipped. Virgo energy, the Nine of Pentacles is, this is where your focus is. Eight of Cups reverse. I feel like this is your focus. I remember at the very beginning, I feel like somebody's focused on you. I do feel like there's somebody emotionally stuck on you, but I don't, the judgment back here tells me, I don't, now of course this isn't gonna be for all Aries, but the Aries that are really focused on their pentacles, at, at this time, I don't think they're open in this reading to old energies. Reason why they're open to their pentacles, eight of wands reverse. I think anyone who's going to pull them off path, they don't want to deal with that. They want to deal with long-term security. You're either going to hold an Aries up or you're going to hold an Aries back. And then they don't want you to hold them back. They're not, they don't want anyone to hold them back. And that's just where I'm getting. All right, Aries, good luck with this. I, I wouldn't even say good luck. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're, I mean, man, you, you should be doing TED Talks at this, at this point. All right. Have a great week. I'll see you guys later. Take care.